Yo. Previously, I ranked every gym leader from Kanto to Unova. I recommend watching that video first. Now, we're taking on the final four regions. By the way, if you're watching this a day after the video came out, one massive video containing parts 1 and 2 should be out. Anyway, enjoy the video. We're back ranking every single gym leader, and we're going to be starting with the Kalos region, which you all know how I feel about the story of the Kalos region because of, well, the video I was recording. Um, if you want to watch it, I would recommend it. But Kalos, in my opinion, is the region when gym leaders finally stopped just being gym leaders. They're like new jobs. Everyone does something. They have hobbies. They have all these different things. And it's not just, I like battling. I'm going to battle you. Like, yeah, you could say that about other people like Lieutenant Surge who had like, you know, he was a veteran. You could say that about, mm, literally, you could say that about a lot of them. Like uh, this guy, I still don't remember his name. Viola. Viola is one of um, the weaker gym leaders of Kalos. She's also the first. You gotta remember that she is the first. But I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to put her in C. Viola is a bug type gym leader, which automatically makes it to where I'm putting them a rank below where they would normally be because. They're a bug type gym leader. Grant and Viola Gym are a little too far apart in my opinion. We are constantly just running through routes and routes and routes and you're just like, oh my fucking god, when is the next gym? Ugh. That definitely docks him down. down that, docks, uh, 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 that definitely docks him some points. But I will say, his whole rock climbing gimmick is, of course, he's a rock type gym leader, but he's not. But his whole gimmick is, you know, he's rock climbing and stuff and... I think, yeah, rock. we haven't really seen something like that. It also fits in with why he's a Rock-type trainer, so that automatically makes him a B-tier above Viola. Grant is better than Viola. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care if you like Bug-types. If you like Bug-types, you're just wrong. Your your opinion really just does not matter if you like Bug-types. That, that, it just... Yeah. Karina. Karina, like, Karina's gym, I complete like, her gym challenge, I completely redid because, you know... It was, it was a little, like, I thought it would be cool if we did it like that. Um, but Karina's gym herself, it's sort of the first of the Mega Evolution gym. Like, this gym, it, it basically sets us up with Mega Evolution knowledge. Like, you get a free uh, Mega Evolving Lucario and all of that. So, you're already getting set up with a lot of information. And she's also a roller skater, which, again, adds on to she doesn't just battle people. So, I don't think she's an A, just because I feel like her gym challenge could have been better. Like, for what I saw that we could probably do with it, I think she's high B tier. I'm gonna put her high B tier, just so I feel better about myself for not putting her in A. She's right on the brink of A, just needed a little bit more. Ramos, Ramos is probably the most mid tier gym leader in this entire in Gen 6. Like, not a lot of people talk about Ramos. But you could probably say the same thing about, like, Valerie or, well, a lot of these gym leaders. But I don't feel like, like, in terms of Kalos, which already is a pretty popular region among fans, it, it, uh, he just does he never gets talked about. Like, sure, Valerie probably doesn't get talked about, but she's a little bit more interesting. And Ramos is ass. <laughs> like, He's a gardener, sure, but he just doesn't do a lot more than that. Now, Clement. I try not to let uh, anime, the anime, like, influence me, but I mean, it is a pretty big factor. It's why I put Brock above Mystery. Mr. Mister, mystery? <laughs> put Brock above Misty, because Brock is just in so much more, and, uh, you know, everyone knows who Brock is, and... All of that. So, and Clement, I think I like Clement. He had a very good um, thing in the anime. He was also pretty good. He's had a pretty good gym. And I like I like him because he's an inventor. He invents shit. And again, every single Kalos gym leader, except for maybe Wolfric. I don't know what Wolfric does. Nearly every single Kalos. 
gym leader does something different, which again makes it really cool. And that's why I think I'm gonna put Clement in A because it's just the anime helps. Let's move on to Valerie, which, like I said with Ramos, was like another forgettable gym leader, which I'm gonna have to put in C. Valerie just does not have enough going for her to put to put her in any of like the serious rings. She's kind of like um how do I say this? The Lenora of Kalos, I guess. Like, Lenora, you know, Gen F if you play Gen 5 or watch the anime, you know who Lenora is. Or if you haven't played Gen 6 or haven't watched the anime, you do not know who Valerie is. So that's why I'm putting her in C. Now, time for one of my fav- one of my personal favorite gym leaders ever, Olympia. Olympia is S tier. S tier without question, AI, amazing, possibly super cool love i love uh olympia olympia just had a lot going for her that they used in the anime but they didn't use in the games and like i said the freaking i feel like the thing that would have talked her character out fully was what i did in my rewrite which was have her say like a prophecy or some shit about how all oh, the world's gonna end and like setting the stakes for it her gym is really cool everything is just really cool it's a double battle gym which i know i said tate and liza was a was like a fucking gimmick for Tate and Liza, but Olympia, it's not like she's a sibling, she's just has two Pokemon and her gym's different. Uh Wolfric, Wolfric is probably yeah D. He does nothing. He's the only Kalos gym leader with I don't think a prof profession. He might make ice, I'm not sure. I don't really care enough to look at it. Wolfric, not very good. Olympia, very stunning. Okay. Now we're moving on to Alola with, uh, what's his name? Is it Illumia? Illumina? I think that's his name. It'll probably be on like the graphic, the graphic there, but I don't really like him. I'm going to put him in C just because I just don't know where to put him. He feels very off to me, but also like not very off at the same time. I don't know. I can't quite explain. Like, I feel like he's... Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're just gonna keep on... We're just gonna move on. Just gonna move on. Um, Lana. Lana is alright. C. Like, a lot of these kahunas are alright, except Kiawe. Kiawe is A. And I'm gonna tell you why. Kiawe is actually really cool. I think, um, again, I'm going off the anime... He has probably the most development out of anyone, aside from Lily, uh, duh, but he, like, actually sh sort of becomes, like, a threat in the anime, but in, in the games, he's also pretty good, like, he's a kahuna and all that, he probably has goals, I don't know, I haven't really quite played, I haven't played Gen, Gen 7 in a, quite a long time, but I do remember liking Kiawe. Mallow, Mallow gave off a lot of very, uh, sexual energy. Which is weird, but kind of funny. For, so I was gonna put her in C because I just she was mid, like all of them, a lot of them are mid. But it's a little too funny not to put not to put her in B. Sophocles, Sophocles, whatever you want to call him, um, probably one of the worst. Yeah, he's the worst. He's E, like annoying all the way annoying he's not on berg's level no one on this list is on berg's level berg you're you're staying right where you are this ghost girl don't what is her name oh my god do i not remember these guys names don't uh she i think she's pretty cool in the anime i'm gonna go off what the anime says um so i'm gonna put her in c because she's cool in the anime you guys say by the anime now this person right here holy shit this is worse than mid. It is literally not. She's not mid. She is boring mid. Which honestly makes me put her in E. Because I just don't remember anything about her. And I just remember not liking her. Because she's so freak. Island Ka the Island Kahuna. Ka I think you're Kahuna Hala. I think his name is. Um, Kahuna Hala is actually pretty cool. I like Kahuna Hala. I'm going to put him in A tier. Because he is like, you know. Isn't he's a dad? He's a or is he a grand? I think he's a grandpa. And he's not like Norman, who's a bad father who left. He's actually cool. I think he gave 
I think he gave his uh Yeah, he gave us uh, he gave us Pokemon in the game. So yeah, I think he's pretty cool. Olympia No, nope, this is not Olympia or er, this girl, I do not remember any of the I like Kahuna names. I just remember liking her. She was pretty cool. Ed Lord McEdgy right here. So I swear this guy is the weird is the creep you see on the block. Like he's the per I can't what He's a D. I don't know him. Like, he's weird. And this person... I'm not even going to try with this one. Alola definitely did not do very as well as Kalos did, in my opinion. But Milo. Milo is a grass-type gym leader, which automatically is like, okay, yeah, you're probably not the strongest. But Milo has a cool hat, and um, I think he definitely introduced the Dynamax concept very well. Because it's like the first time we're able to use it. And I think it works very well. Um, Nessa. Nessa? Smash. Uh, but all jokes aside, uh, like, these gym leaders don't have the- These characters don't have the liberty of being in the anime. So I'm gonna give Nessa only a B because, like, you know- Or actually a C, just because I feel like doesn't- She was not in the anime at all. I know Milo was not in the anime at all, but, like- when you just go off of their game parts, like, they're not very interesting people. So, uh, the geezer guy. The geezer man. He's funny. He's like Blaine. Except he's... And I'm gonna put him in A because he's like Blaine. Except he's not bald, but he's old. So, they're basically the same thing. Like, you can see the shocking resemblance to Blaine and, the, and this guy is in the geezer. So, yeah, it's funny. I, I think he's funny. B is kind of annoying to me. D tier. Now let me let me explain for B fans out there. Um, B just does not have anything that I would call like superior than like other gym leaders. But Alistair, Alistair is my favorite. Is one of my favorite gym leaders. Like Olympia is my favorite. Alistair is my second favorite. Let me tell you why. Alistair is like I think his gym is really cool. I think his Pokemon are like G Max Gengar is very cool. I think in the anime, he was very cool and sweet and all that. I thought it was very nice. Now for this weird old lady. Holy crap, I remember being- I remember the story and just- Oh my gosh, she was so weird. Like, she took a weird liking to B, and I think just for liking Bead, you're gonna go in B tier. And Bead- We don't need to talk much about Bead. I think we all respectfully hate him as much- is the next guy, and he became weird, and I don't want to say gay, but he kind of did become a little, he looked a little, no, I can't, okay, moving on, uh, Gor, Ror, Gorgi, 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 I think his name is Gorgi, um, Gorgi is the fun dad kind of guy, his gym is super easy, but it's very fun, he's a very fun gym leader, and I'm gonna put him in B for that, Melanie, I never, like I said, I don't, I didn't play much through Shield, but I did play enough to get through Alistair, obviously, but I didn't play the Melody. So I have really nothing to say about Melody. Alright, well, I'll just put her in D, because I've seen clips of her, I've seen clips of it. Um, I guess her gym looks cool. It might be more difficult than Sword. It probably is. But, um, yeah. Piers, can we uh, talk about how uh, voice acting completely ruined his character? Dude, if there were voice acting in Pokemon, like, you wouldn't get scenes like this. Yeah, I know, it's super embarrassing. Now I'm gonna say Piers, because of that scene, is gonna be in C tier. Now, Marnie became the gym leader, the Spike Myth gym leader after Piers, uh, or sorry, after the, after the, uh, like, exp expedition match where we had to, like, figure out who's who and shit like that. So, she became the gym leader after that and taking into account everything that she's been through, she's grown, she grew a lot over there, so I'm gonna give her an A. Raihan is weird. He is a double battler. He's also very self-centered, and that's funny. So I'm gonna put her in, him in B. We are at the final stretch, guys. Like, seriously, the final stretch. 
and these are these is probably the most mixed gym leader things I've ever seen because some of these guys are seriously the, some of the strongest and best gym leaders ever and some of them are I don't even want to think about them like Katie Katie is a bug type gym leader and that automatically bothers me which is why she's going in D she's mid but because she's a bug type gym leader she's going in D because I I hate bug types and anyone who likes bug types should be ridiculed for what they like. I don't care if that's like, oh, it's just someone else's opinion. You shouldn't really care that much. I don't care. You should not have an opinion if you like bug types. Just saying. Okay. Now, Brassius. This is the most mixed th feelings I get from a guy. One, on one hand, you have a very super emotional. And, er, is he emotional? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's the Elite Four member uh, guy. So, no, he's... He feels very shady. That's what I meant. He feels very shady. So, and you know what? That's okay. I'm going to give him B tier for that. Like, Iono is an A. And I think it's an A because they did streaming so well. Like, they really nailed it out of the park with how streamers actually are and that's really funny that, that they managed to do that and it's just like it's just like you know make sure to prime guys you gotta prime uh sorry i don't stream i should stream but i'm not gonna for a while at least but yeah iono's gym is actually pretty fun a cub food yes cub food he is he made us gamble i gotta remember that he did make us gamble and that's kind of based so I'm going to put him in A tier. And also, he's funny. He looks funny. And also, he, like, smacks his stomach whenever he's, like, happy and stuff. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, here's where the aggravation begins. Larry fans, I am so sorry. I'm putting Larry in B. Guys, I get, I get the love for Larry. I get why it's there. I get it all. I used to be one of them. I used to be one of you. And... I don't know. I kind of grew sick of it. Larry was the hardest gym leader I had to fight because I didn't know, you know, like, that you had to level up and stuff and you could go out and do other things and all of that. And, you know, it was just like, oh, uh, okay. Now, Rhyme is a person I can get behind going in S because I think it's really funny that they made a fucking rapper gym leader. And also, I think it's really funny that they're related to one of the freaking teachers. That's really funny. Like, that's how you make a funny gym leader. And also, <laughs> they made, like, they had MC Sledge, which is, there's no way that they didn't do that on purpose. Tulip goes in E. Tul no, Tulip goes in D. Tulip is not good. Tulip has nothing for her. She said Slay, but no one cares. So, now we... Finally are rounding out this list with Grusha. Who I actually think is B. Not right there. Right here. Who's in B. And I have nothing to say about Grusha. Because he's alright. And by the way, it is a he. And boom! That is the whole list. Aside from these th four, which I'm sure I'm going to get comments about. But yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.